Lexton and I are gonna go upstairs now. We're gonna close the door to her bedroom and we're gonna do whatever we want to. And there's nothing you can do to stop us. Stop! Come back here! Hidago! Hidago, come back here! Now! Don't make me come up there after you! Well, I'll say one thing for your dinner parties, Dorian. They're never dull. Mr. and Mrs. Rivera, are you all right? How can we be all right? My son and your daughter have gone upstairs to do God knows what. What do you have to say for yourself? Drink anyone? You sure showed him. Yeah. So, what do we do now? Well, the way I see it, we have two options. We can stay up here and just enjoy the fact that we're sticking it to him. Or? Or we make good on the threat. I'll take door number two. What are you talking about? How is Fish using Layla? Man, I, I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah, well, you did. And the thing is, Layla's got a habit of doing stupid things, just to show you how smart and tough she is. And if dating Fish is one of these stupid things, I want to know about it. All right, look, all I'm saying is, Fish isn't the guy he appears to be. So then the second penguin says, well, it was so nice out, I thought I'd walk over. You get it? Yeah, and that was a terrible joke. Uh, <laughs> cracked me up and my Uncle Lyle told it. Of course, I was four. Well, now you're all grown up. Yes, ma'am. Poor Christian, slaving away at the cafe. Yeah, and then he has to close the club at 2 a.m. So what are we going to do until he comes back? I'm going to leave it here, and don't you dare touch it. Are you going to floss your butt with this, or you got other plans? Put that down. Scanties and booze. How original. You must be desperate. Wrong, actually. Your little baby boy and I aren't just roommates anymore. We're lovers. My sister was just trying to get to me, right? We two never slept together. Gigi, I... Can you believe me? What is wrong with me? After everything I put you through, I'm giving you the third degree about Stacy. Uh... You and I, we learned the hard way not to keep things from each other. You asked me a question. I owe you the truth. I have no idea where Sven is. May I freshen up anybody's drink? Uh, no, thank you. Why not? Come on, this party's just getting started. Party? When my son shows me such disrespect, this to you is a party? Mr. Rivera. You may tolerate that kind of behavior from your child, but I do not. Yo, Papi, why don't you just give it a rest? Everything in the world isn't Dr. Lord's fault. This is between you and your boy. Right, and has it occurred to you to be proud that your son is his own man? Don't tell me how to feel about my son. What is it that you want from a son? Just just some, some passive, pathetic little boy? I just wonder what Marco and Langston are doing up there. What do you think they're doing? Uh, oh, what is it? What's wrong? OK, I, I can't do this. I can't have sex with you while your parents and Dorian are sitting downstairs. It's OK, I get it. I guess it's enough that we're making my dad sweat. The way you stood up to him was beyond amazing. I've never talked to him like that before. What made you do it tonight? Well, all my life, 
He'd say to me, it's my way or the highway. So, you know, I'd do it his way. But now, I guess the highway doesn't seem that scary. As long as I'm hitchhiking it with you. I had to make him see that. Honey must be so mad right now. I mean, I'm surprised he's not up here banging on the door. Oh, he's probably taking it out on Dorian. I think she's the root of all evil now. Yeah, well, she can handle herself. You want to sneak into the hallway and see if we can try and hear what's going on down there? Do you really want to know? No. <laughs> so what do we do now? Well, uh, we nixed my idea. Well, sorry, horn dog. But, um, I think I have an idea. Don't you play me, girlfriend. Rexy would never do that, especially with someone like you. Oh, but he did all right. All over the floor of ultraviolet. We almost did it in the cabana at the country club until that stupid manager came in and interrupted us. He just can't get enough of me, Rox. You might be looking at your future daughter-in-law. Don't kid yourself, honey. Why would he buy the cow if he could get the milk so damn cheap? I'm just gonna leave this here for now. I'm gonna leave before no, I you. No, you take that ice cream with you. I'll get Rex some dessert of his own. No, this is special ice cream. I got this all the way from Cincinnati. Cincinnati, my ass. This is from the deli on the corner. You didn't come here to leave anything. You came here to find something, didn't you, Roxy? You're kind of scaring me. I, I know it's been weird between us since you told me the truth about Stacy. And I know it's going to take a while for us to get back to the way that we were. But I love you. And I never, ever stopped. The thing is, I thought that you stopped loving me. And... Dad? What are you doing here? What's going on? We gotta tell him, Jeej. Tell me what? Honey. All that stuff you thought I did with Brody and Skylar, I lied about that. I didn't do any of it. You don't believe her, do you? Yes, I do. She's not lying. I'm not. Your dad is the only guy for me. Except you, of course. I never stopped loving him. And I will love him till the day I die. What are you trying to pull now? Shane. I wasn't telling the truth before, but I am telling you the truth now. I didn't sleep with Brody. I don't or... believe you. I do. Why? Listen to your mother. Shane, when you got sick and they told us that you needed a stem cell transplant as soon as possible and we couldn't find a donor, well, I, I made this deal with God. I said that if he'd send us a donor in time to save you, that I would sacrifice anything. And right after that, we got us a donor. And Stacy. Yeah, and I was so grateful. I felt like I had to make good on my promise. So, I gave up your dad. Are you saying that God made you cheat no, on dad? No, no, I didn't cheat. I just said I did. Because God told you to. Gigi, we have to tell him everything. But she says, Anne. What are you two talking about? Your aunt, <laughs> Stacy, refused to save your life unless your mom broke up with me. You know, we could play games, but that would take too long and Rex is gonna be home really soon. You're looking for that bag of blood you were keeping cold, aren't you? You stole it. I didn't steal anything. Although, I have to give it to you. Having Kyle draw a backup bag of blood out of your donor friend, that was smart. I did that for Shane. Listen, you little bitch. You sicked that killing nurse on me, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. She stuck me with a needle. I passed out. It could have killed me. And yet here you are. You and her are in it together, aren't you? You know, I, I gotta say I like the way she thinks, but no, I didn't sick her on your trail. Are you sure? How could I? I didn't even know about the extra bag of blood. Well, if you didn't send her, who did?